<laughs> All right, motherfuckers, this is inappropriate. I am DJ Mike Torch. Mac, right? Okay. Oh, shit, I get to talk my shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know why they want to interview me. My name is Frank Obase. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out our sponsor, All About Business. If you'd like to sponsor me, just easy or sponsor us. It's easy, $25 a month. If we could shout you out, put your flyer everywhere. I mean, put you on all platforms. And uh, yeah, we have you on all our events that we got coming up. We got Grindhouse coming up February 25th. Want to talk about that real quick? No? She's like, nah. I'm, I'm still like a little blasted. <laughs> but um, yeah, Grindhouse, 25th of February. For Burry. For Burry. For Burry. <laughs> Man, artists coming out. Yeah. A lot of artists coming out. It's going to be dope talent. Yeah. And uh, welcome to Splitfield <laughs> 3. It's going to be on the way. Check the check for the dates. That flyer is going to be dropping real soon. And a bunch of uh, artists going to be out for that as well. Fuego Bass. Yo, I've, I've been dying for this one. Matt, we missed it the first time, but I'm glad glad we made it work. Yeah. Because, really like, this is, this, is, this is my type of rapper. Like, this is my type of rapper. I, I absolutely enjoy the way... You rap and, and put out music. There's a difference between somebody just rapping and you hear somebody's music and you're like, oh, damn, this shit's authentic as fuck. Like, you can tell this nigga's actually saying exactly what the fuck happened. Exactly, he's living his life through his music. So I definitely appreciate that. Jeez. For real, for real. All for real. Oh, man, thank you. That's why I do it. Well, that's the, like the people I'm targeting. You know what I mean? I'm, do this shit for people like me, man, or that relate to me, man. If you don't like it, go find what you like. Facts. You feel Facts. what I'm saying? You Facts. fuck with it though, I appreciate you. Straight up. That was a great point. Off rip. Facts. Go find what you like. And that's that shit that people don't do. They like to just hound on shit that they don't like. Yeah, like if I don't fuck with something, I don't fuck with something. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I might joke about it and shit, like, amongst my friends and shit like that. But when I'm in, like, when I'm doing shit like this, I ain't bashing nothing nobody doing. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Everybody's try, trying to feed their family. Like somebody likes that shit, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes that shit. I'ma say this. Like when they come to this music shit, if nobody likes your shit, quit. You feel what I'm saying? And <laughs> and and then oh, 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 yeah, like if nobody likes your shit, quit. But just cause I don't like your shit doesn't mean that is no validity to your shit. Just like you don't have to like my shit. If you don't like my shit, tune out. And tune into some other shit. Word. I think people just want to have that conversation with you for whatever the fuck reason. I don't know what that reason is. It's like, yo, you just don't got to tune in, but they still do just to have that conversation. Yeah, it's like, like, what the fuck know, is we really doing? Know, like, other I'm, than wasting I'm time. I'm into shit that I'm into, like, I'm into shit that I like to keep, to keep the vibe right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I need a Fuego based friendly environment. So it's like certain shit that I like, certain shit that make me feel good, certain shit don't make me feel good. If it don't make me feel good, I'm not going to tune into it, man. I'm going to let y'all have that shit. Simple as that. Do you have to be in that type of mindset to create what you create? Not really. It ain't even like, like, like my music is my mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like all of it, the contradictions, all of it. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that shit, I'm human. Like, I ain't scared of, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm regular as fuck, nigga. Like, <laughs> this nigga, yo. So it's like, that's like I, what I be going through or like what I went through. Like, at some point in life, like, that, that shit just observation for me. You feel me? Like, I'm from somewhere like a nigga might not necessarily heard of, but it's one of the most dangerous places in the country. So, like, that's where that observation come from. And then I want people to understand that and know that shit. Like, nigga, like, I'm shell-shocked like you niggas is. Like, you feel what I'm saying? But we've heard y'all story millions of times. Like, I'm the spokesperson for this shit. Like, I'm straight up. All right, for people who don't know, where you from? I'm from Haifa. I'm from the North Fair. I'm from the Projects. I'm from the Ville. I bring this up all the time Um, about, like, Springfield and Hartford niggas. Like, why that gripe was there. I don't know. I never dealt with it. I don't got nothing to do with that type of shit. It's like, like, like them, my niggas. Like, shout out to, like, Springfield, the niggas working. My nigga was Frank Nino. Word. I got shout some Frank. shit with Flay, where I'm with Blaze G that's coming out. Uh, I'm on word. Blacksmith album that come out on the I 22nd. seen that track list. Uh, I was yeah. like, oh, shit. When that shit, like, them niggas had me rapping like a motherfucker. I'm on the shit, <laughs> yeah. shit with him and Sholi. I was like, oh, my God, these rapping ass Y'all track together is fire. 
Oh, me and Shelby. Yeah. yeah. We got some more shit coming, too. That's my nigga. He's That's some rapping ass motherfuckers. You yeah, a whole comedian, too, low key. No, like, you be yeah, having yeah, me yeah, dying, yeah, yo. Chilling, man. I mean, like I said, I was trying to have fun <laughs> and shit. This like, nigga. if you don't want to laugh and shit like that, then get the fuck away from it me. Nigga be having me uh, dying. You know I absolutely the like that. The alternative is us fucking you up. Like, you fucking <laughs> so you might as well laugh. Because if we're not laughing, let's be yeah. honest. Like, if we're not laughing and it's not cool, then somebody about to get fucked up. It should be like that. You feel what I'm saying? If, if, if otherwise, let's continue to laughter. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot going on out here, man. Like, let's enjoy this shit as much as we can. Some real shit. No bullshit. Real shit. Be, I, I like that, though. I like that when artists say so it'd be some hard shit, too. And I'd just be like, oh, damn, this nigga got the audacity to say some shit like this. Like, yeah, that, shit is, say, this shit is raw. Nah, like, that shit is dumb and funny. I'm going to speak for my type of weirdos, man. This shit is <laughs> dumb and funny. We all got our shit, you feel me? I'm just, like, I, said, I, I didn't hear, don't you want to repeat right shit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> It's dumb funny though. I mean, it's out there. This nigga. This nigga. <laughs> the first one I got, I, I see right here. He said, he said he got an ugly bitch pregnant, so he would leave yeah. an abortion. Yeah. You're inside, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. yo. Right. Like, yo. I was like, all right. That shit had me dying. I started dying off. You know, I mean, niggas got their ugly bitch pregnant, man. <laughs> he's like, he's like, niggas oh no. Under pressure, man. <laughs> You heard? He's like, oh no. He's like, he's like, oh no. Niggas, like, oh, niggas, oh, niggas no. be under pressure, man. I know niggas trying to pay to clean that shit up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you heard niggas with money and shit. Man, yo, man, how much you think it's going to cost, bro? Man, I don't know. But if we're off you, can't refuse. Or give me the offer so I can negotiate for you. Yo. I'll negotiate for you at a, at a, at a fee, you feel what I'm saying? Yo, you said some other shit about snitches too, which was just funny. Um, but you 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 deal with that type of nonsense? With the snitching shit? Yeah. Hey man, shit, man, niggas is snitching like a motherfucker. Niggas is going snitch. Stay away from niggas, man. Like 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 I ain't never been arrested due to good police work. You know what I'm saying? Like them niggas ain't, <laughs> them niggas ain't doing nothing special. Like all that shit on TV and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? Them yeah. niggas ain't doing cartwheels yeah. off they of off of garages and shit and taking photos and shit. Yeah. Niggas is snitching. Talking. That's how they Niggas is snitching. Faces. I know yeah. niggas yeah. is snitching. Man, when I ne- if I never showed the nigga a gun a day in my life and the only day you ever saw me with a gun, I go directly to jail, don't pass go. It's you. Mm-hmm. Mm. I might can't prove it. I might can't say all this shit. Niggas always talking about all the paperwork, the paperwork. All right, cool, man. I'm going to stay away from you, though. It's like something. That, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Man, there ain't no good police work shit, man. These police dumb as a motherfucker, man. Niggas really ain't doing nothing. Trust me. They regular people. Like, this is what people don't really think. We hype everybody up. Like, the rappers get hyped up. Like, on the pedestal. Like, they different. No, it's a regular nigga that know how to rap. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You hype up the police and think they're, no, nah, like, if you flinch at that nigga, he might motherfucking do a cartwheel scared as a motherfucker, like a regular person, you feel what I'm saying? And, and that go for all the rest of these motherfuckers. Like, they regular, like, you might be surprised what you get to once you get to the bottom of that shit. Like, a lot of this shit smoking mirrors, man. Yeah, Yo, how you gotta be yourself? I don't even gotta be yourself, man. We talked about this a little bit earlier on, on why people even get in the game and try to rap about that shit, even though they have no business rapping about it. And then they get into situations that they don't need to what, be the in. street shit? Yeah. But it's like, it's coming that even like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, 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 you boil into it. Like, like niggas is overrating a lot of dumb shit. Let's just say, like, if I was to get robbed next week, I take away from like what I went through, or the validity of my shit. Like, I gotta die for some material shit, and I raise my daughter to prove a point to you, bitch ass niggas that probably never did nothing. You heard? Like, I just try to move to where I'm untouchable, to where nobody's gonna take my shit or nothing like that. But it can happen to anybody. Like, what? You, what like, you feel what I'm saying? You get caught slipping. Like, what you really want to do? You really want to die for your shit? Like, I got an 11 year old man. She loved the shit out of me. So like, 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 I just try to move to where I'm secure to where you don't even get that close to me to even play that type of game with me. But it's like, 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 like this shit real. Like if it does happen, it's like, does that not take, 
Like, you feel me? That shit happened with Benny in Houston. I was... Like, they shot my nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, home ain't, home ain't no bad nigga. I'm a good nigga. I'm taking care of a bunch of people, me included. Word. You said that in Dolph, too. And, um... Yeah, I, like I was, was going to bring that up. Shit crazy. But, um... Because of that, you you think you should you should move the way that you are. Why don't why do you think artists don't like? Do you, are they just I mean, I that know. fucking? Like, I don't know how. Cause it's, like I I tell the people around me all the time. Like we we had them talks. It's not like I'm not scared or no nothing like that. It's just I'm being aware and I'm dealing with reality. Like rappers die every day, and it's not just high level rappers. You feel what I'm saying? It's local mm-hmm. niggas that not even probably known three blocks past their window. You feel what I'm saying? But when they die, that's what they put on the shit. Local rapper or... You feel me? So I always mm-hmm. see the tag. I always see a rapper associated with death. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, like... I'm looking at that shit. Like, when you come around me with that shit, nigga, like, you gonna die, nigga. Like, you feel me? Like, before me. Like, I gotta say, I'm here to do something good. I'm here to do something that hasn't been done before. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you playing with me, nigga. Like, you playing with God. I'm doing God's work. <sighs> so whatever happens to you, like, you deserve it. <laughs> that shit is crazy For real, for real I believe that shit too We move accordingly And and weed out the people That don't need to be around you mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's like You know, this ain't like I don't know, I'm chilling I don't feel obligated to nobody You heard? Like my mom just died like A month ago, maybe Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that I just buried my mother like a month ago It's like I don't give a fuck about Losing none of you motherfuckers You feel me? And I make you get lost myself If you make me have to I couldn't fucking imagine. <laughs> but yeah, like, cause it's like, man, this shit, a lot of weird shit come with this shit. And it's like, you gotta be special to deal with this shit. Like, the outside of just knowing how to rap, you know? like the behind the scenes shit, like, there's a lot of weird shit with this shit. And it's like, they say, like, shit changed people. It changed the people around you first. But you feel what I'm saying? Like, a nigga can't say money changed me. I don't got nothing like that yet. You feel what I'm saying? But the people around you started changing immediately. Like, they, like, they start to look at you different. Like, I got people that don't even talk to me just because of, like, I finally smartened up and took my gift serious. Why do you think they fall back? Because they can't do this shit, bro. Like, this shit, like, this shit, like, getting called up for the NBA, bro. Like, my situation, not the average situation like these niggas shit, bro. It's money on the table, nigga. Like, I just went on a national tour. Like, I was in Starless last night with rich niggas, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, 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 I'm being accepted. Like, these niggas was never accepted into that world. Word. Like, I'm doing what these niggas dream of, nigga. I'm the biggest <laughs> since fucking can be here, nigga. This <laughs> shit don't happen, nigga. I just rapped for Fab last week, nigga. That's bucket list shit, nigga. You want to bring up this Fab conversation again that we were just having? I said it, it, it's damn near time for pa- Fab to pass the torch, you don't think? Man, I don't give a fuck what Fab do. <laughs> <laughs> like you feel what I'm saying? Fab a legend, like Fab, just somebody that been here a long time, consistent. And when I say a long time, I don't mean nothing bad by that. Like it's supposed to be here. For, yeah, like, we, like, we doing this shit for longevity. That nigga been feeding his family off of this shit for mad years and been consistent, like good at it, like not just feeding us trash through the machine because we know who he's fabulous. That nigga been spitting lyrics that's on point for. A long time, and I respect that. You feel what I'm saying? As far as like passing the torch, if niggas don't want to pass the torch, take the torch from these niggas. <laughs> no, you I'm, feel saying, what I'm saying, I'm saying, in a, a sense, to continue might, his legacy. Like he, yeah, needs to it's like get that street fam torch. He got to pass that street fam torch. I, I don't feel like to who he need to build. You know what I mean, a New York sound or some shit around. Use I would that say legacy, that, but like a lot of work. like. Like, every artist is not a good CEO and shit like that, neither. Sure, like, sure. you feel what I'm saying? Like, sure, sure. I like, like, certain niggas, like, never really broke no artists. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, I'm pretty sure Home probably got other endeavors that he more into, like, than that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Is that something you'd like to do in the future? My mom, my shit lined up. It's ready to go. I just need somebody to cut the motherfucking check. Mm. So, what you got planned for this year? Cause you you yo like I like I told you I like the music you put out so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to more. Man, I'm the biggest since can be. I want y'all to know that. You heard? Tell my mom I'm a fucking rapper. You feel what I'm saying? I said like I got I got Fuego in the slums too coming out. The BSF compilation album is coming out soon. Long live DJ Shay. You heard? Um, I'm on there. Like the shit that I do on that shit, 
is going to set like me apart from these niggas. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm not rapping with Joe Smo from down the street. I'm not rapping with my cousin. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know these niggas. These niggas is from different parts of the country. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, they're just as hungry as I am. So it's like when you hear me on this track with OT The Real and I hold my own, I did this shit for us. Like, niggas not going to be able to do that, a lot of people. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I hold my own. When you hear me on them songs with him and them from BSF and I hold my own, like, I, like nigga, this hasn't been done here. This is uncharted territory. Yeah, that's mysterious. You hear what I'm saying? When you hear me on a song with Benny the Butcher and I hold my own, this is uncharted territory. No bullshit. Was telling your mom a rap, you were a rapper, something you didn't want to do? No, my mother, my mother loved it, that shit, honestly. <laughs> Like, like, like I said, like, I put my mother through a lot, man. Like, I went through a lot of this shit that I rap about. A lot of that shit happened. Like, we lived through this shit. So, I, for my mother to be able to go on into the afterlife with something that she feel like I could use to be positive and to make a, like, to make an impact on my people was the best possible thing I could do. Like, when I did that shit, it was like a joke. Because it's like, tell my mother I'm a rapper. Because my mother ain't believe me. I'm a rapper. Like, yeah, the rapper. What type of script they running? You feel what I'm saying? Like, they hiding drugs in the CDs and some shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, so it was always that thing. And then the more people, like, in the neighborhood to see her and be like, yo, like, man, that motherfucker really know how to rap. Like, it, it took some legs to it. And then, like, you know, like I said, from her passing, like, that shit got more meaning, you feel what I'm saying? But Word. my mother loved it, that shit. My mother loved that shit. My mother loved Benny, that was her boy. Word. My mother was in hospice mad because he had an asthma attack. Mm. How you let the butcher get an asthma attack? <laughs> like, what the fuck, y'all ain't watching him? <laughs> How did that come about? How'd you link with Benny? Man, um, internet shit, what they call that shit, Instagram. Instagram. Like, my man... Played the video, my clip, you feel what I'm saying? Yo, this shit like a movie, I can't make it up. I swear it probably sound fake. I was Not listening even. to Benny. I was watching the Benny video. My shit started pinging the phone and shit. The girl I'm with at the time looking at the phone pinging like, oh, you ain't gonna get that. You know how they do it. <laughs> yeah. Pick that shit up, nigga. And I picked it up. Ah, bitch, it's Benny. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a hoe, it's Benny. You heard? She's like, what the fuck, look. And it's like, man, he was just saying, like, damn, that's dope, whatever you doing or whatever, yada, yada, yada. So that shit led to the inbox. I sent some more joints, and we just started building. And it's been like that ever since. Like, more so, like, we was building more like a personal relationship. Like, I'm a cool nigga. So it's like, we was just bonding and shit. And I learned a lot. Like, it's been like three years I've been fucking with, bro. Like, good nigga. Like I said, I've been in jail twice during that time. Like, went through a lot of other shit. Like, nigga never turned his back on me. You feel what I'm saying? And that's a blessing like this. Like I said, this shit hasn't been done here. Nigga, name dropped you on the Breakfast Club. Yeah, that I was, was like, oh shit. Man, I woke up, my shit was going crazy. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, for me, it's like, all right. Like, that me? shit was fire. I wasn't like, you know. Because I was just watching just to watch. I was like, boom, just had it on that morning, knowing that we had this shit scheduled. And then I was just like, yo, nah, uh, like, nah, uh, that's dope. And that's they real talk dope. About any that's of dope. you niggas on the press. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Dude, they give a fuck about what any of you niggas is doing. I want to know why you niggas is doing this shit. Because nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> what I said from the beginning, mm. nobody likes this shit. <laughs> Stop. You heard, like, you, you delusioned them. You bought the views. They, they didn't watch it for Ooh. real. These robots. <laughs> not they even, got robots. They got you know they fake when they you put the, the row in front of it. Shots. Yo, listen, man. I'm, yo, I'm a smart nigga. I already know how they doing this it. Whether snake. they gonna tell us or not, I didn't see the evidence or nothing. I figured it out my own self. You heard? You gotta just have some money because you're gonna buy a million phones and just set all the phones up. You heard? And somebody somewhere pressing play on each one of them motherfuckers or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? And you got all these streams, but nobody knows your music. That's fake. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's only robots listening to your shit. Or like the sweatshop niggas, some motherfucking <laughs> Cambodians or some shit. And stop it, man. I seen this artist out here a little bit ago. It was like the last year, the year before. Had like a team of like, I don't know, probably 100 people 
have her song on repeat and just let the shit run up like yeah. like oh, like yeah. and that doesn't that. mean nobody's listening to that shit no nah, nobody was it's listening to that it's not organic it's not real and the labels are disgusted cuz like do you think they don't know the difference like they created these tricks and shit like that those are the shystiest motherfuckers in the world so it's like who 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 y'all pulling wool over the eyes like you feel what i'm saying like niggas know what you doing it's disgusting stop it you don't have a hundred thousand views. Hundred thousand people don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> somebody do though. That's that to the point we were talking about earlier. Somebody, nah, nah, somebody nah, do. Some of these niggas somebody, somebody. Some of these niggas is disgusting. Some of these niggas is disgusting. Yo. Some of these niggas is man. Nah, no like, bullshit. I, why, like, 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 is it? It'd be crazy because like <laughs> some of you niggas like. Let's talk. Fuck it. Like I ain't gonna. Lie. I just did a podcast earlier and shit. I was probably a little bit um tired. Like I just got a second win, so I'm gonna talk about shit. <laughs> like, 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 you niggas be on my dick, right? So y'all be watching me, and I know you niggas watch me, so I watch you niggas back. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, don't think niggas be on my radar. None of you niggas be on my radar. I don't give a fuck, but I know I'm on y'all's. So then I, so I dig back into the shit. So let's say like I watch one of you niggas' video would be out for two weeks, right? And it'd be six hundred sixty six views. You heard? I click on that shit again three, four days later, 12,000. <laughs> you heard? Nobody cares. It's 600. Mm-hmm. I know that. You know that, sucker. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's about that appearance, though. For them, that's their excuse. It's just a look. That's fake. Yo, the, yo, the music industry is a, is a charade, bro. They might take me out once I get a little bit too big because I'm going to tell people about this shit. Mm. Cause I don't give a fuck about it. Like this shit is the corniest shit I've ever been a part of ever, already, and I'm not even that deep in it. Cause it's all lies. Mm. I be around some of y'all favorites, man. They broke, or they got the look on me. I know the look, cause cause I cause I had the look when I when I tapped out when I had it and fucked it up. They be having that look in the green room and shit. Like damn, what they happened to the money? You heard anybody go rob a bank or some shit? I know the look because I do that type of shit. I, 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 I had that type of look. You heard like, I've been around these niggas, bro. They fucked up. They tapped out, bro. And they on drugs. Mm. So what do you say to the people coming up that really want this shit? I don't know nobody that really want this shit. I don't know nobody that's really coming up. That's what I'm saying. Let's stop lying to these niggas, man. Niggas ain't coming up on uh. shit, man. There's no Korean rap for you. You will never get within social distance of the label <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my God. You heard? <laughs> we know you bought them views on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, all that shit. All right? People get hated for saying quit. this shit. I would say, I would say get a trade. <laughs> pray. That's what's going to happen in three they years. They know that Marcus Garvey is not coming back. That's what they told me the other day. That's what's going to happen. I see that for a lot of people's future. For a lot of these, for a lot of people's future. Prayer and trades. Yeah. You heard? That's what some old school niggas said. Go say the black man. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas see prayer and trades. Because like rap ain't it. Everybody want to rap. No, man. That shit ain't, that shit ain't going to work. Let's get behind like the solid people or like the people that got some actual traction into the shit. And try to push an act like through the door. You feel what I'm saying? It's a hundred acts. No, nigga, let's be honest. It's probably five with actual potential. Let's get behind them niggas and shit like that. Like, That's niggas be trying to force like this unity shit saying. on me and shit like here. Like, I'm not about to unify with trash or unify with suckers, unify with off ass niggas, whack ass bitches and shit like that. Like, I'm not here for that. Like, if I feel you and we, we, we link and it's cool, then we could do the unity shit, but I'm not by the front. Like, I'm unified with you niggas and I don't fuck with you niggas. You feel me? And this is just me being me. This don't got nothing to do with what side of town you are, what color you are. I got all type of friends and shit like that. It's, this shit about real versus fake. This shit about niggas versus bitches. This shit versus power and money. Riders versus punks. Nigga, what side is you niggas? On, Word. Nigga? I'm the biggest since can be. <laughs> That's that shit that nobody want to hear that from somebody from their own town. Nah, because I don't care about none of that shit, bro. That's that shit. I don't, like, I, I just told niggas, like, like, I done met solid niggas doing this shit. Like, I was, like, sad as fuck, nigga. Like, I lost my mom and shit like that. And I'm fighting because I'm a fighter. Like, 
It was a nigga from somewhere. Where was like coming to get me and just bringing me out of town? Like, man, fuck that. I'm bringing this nigga to the studio. You feel me? It's a mm. Boston nigga doing that. Like, he pulling up out here, grabbing me, taking me to the city, like just getting blocks 10 hours, man. You're going to sit here. You're going to come up with something, nigga. Like, shit, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I needed that at that time. So it's like, I'm going to fuck with that nigga over a nigga that, that the energy is not the same, bro. It don't matter if I knew you 20 years or you from here and all that. I don't care about none of that. I'm not obligated to none of that. I'm bigger than all of that. I'm the biggest as can be. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> you feel me? I'm bigger than all that. I transcend all that sucker shit you niggas is on. Mm. And that's why the fuck I am who I am. And this shit's not for everybody, man. Like, half of you niggas be in the seat, you're going to fold in the seat, nigga. You're not built for the seat, nigga. They ain't seen me sweat yet, nigga. Mm. I just lost the love of my life, nigga. They still ain't seen me sweat, nigga. I done, I done made moves since then like, that you would never do. People don't even know how to play their roles. You heard? I playing scores from her deathbed, nigga. I'm not like you suckers. I earned this shit, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? I hate you niggas. And that's that shit. People, <laughs> people nah, that's the, that's disgusted. that's a that's a problem I'm though. Disgusted, bro. Cause it's oh, like God. I put forth so much good energy towards this shit, bro. And then it's like I know, like certain niggas is like, nigga, I know, cause the walls got ears. They always come back, nigga. Like and then it's like, dog, why me? Why even play on me like that? I know you before all of this. Some of you niggas, I took care of you, dirty ass niggas. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? And it's just like like I said, me wanting to do better for me and my. Like, how did my dreams become your nightmares, nigga? Oh, my God. I don't understand it. Like, that's freaky, nigga. That's weird. It's like some obsession, borderline homo shit. Like, I'm scared of you niggas, man. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't even understand how they have that type of energy to be focused on somebody else like that. Yo, then see me and smile. Hmm. Hey, when they hug me and shit, and tell Big me how love. proud of me they are and shit like that. Big love. You feel what I'm saying? But that's that, that another thing that I just brought up or just thought of is having yes men too. That fake love shit. That should be whack as fuck. Yeah, man, I don't do none of that. Ain't no yes men. Man, I don't do no yes men. Like, I don't want that shit around me. Like, everybody around me gonna tell me when I'm out of pocket. That's good, though. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell you. you know, I like to talk my shit. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, I need them type of people around me as well. Like, because that shit ain't gonna do us no good. Not at all. No, this shit get you fucked. This shit get you jaded. I, I, you see, you go crazy. Look, all these weird niggas going crazy off of this music shit. Nothing get done. And you put out some bullshit just by everybody just saying, yeah. Yeah, you going to do that. See, like, that's what I'm not going to do because, like, I, I know what I'm going for when I do that shit. Like, that shit is 100% me. I'm not listening to nobody when it comes to that. Like, mm. I don't listen to nobody when it comes to that. So you know exactly what you're doing when you're going into the studio? Exactly what you want to target? Yeah, it's not me, bro. Like, I'm regular. Like, for me to do that, it's bigger than me. So I don't worry about that. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's bigger than me. That's going to happen. All I got to do is show up, bro. Like, I'm not like, 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 I'm growing into a rapper, bro. Like, some of these niggas have been trying to do this shit their whole lives. How long have like, you been doing this? I always knew how to rap. I'm not going to say like one of them niggas in front. Like, you feel what I'm trying to say? Like, I always had potential. I always felt I had potential. Like, throughout the years, anybody that hit me rap would be like, damn, that's special. They would say that. Cool. And my thinking, I got common sense. I'm always like, man, I'm better than everybody. I could do that shit. I could do that shit. When I started to do this shit, though, I had what I had. I had limited supply. You feel what I'm saying? When that shit started running out, as to where these niggas that have been rapping 20 some years at a high level trying to make it and shit, y'all got 50 million notebooks and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? I don't got that shit. I be in and out of jail. I lose my little raps and shit like that. Like, so now I don't got nothing. So then it's like, all right, what do I do? I start writing them shits. I just start speaking and it didn't miss a step. It might be better than that's bigger than me, bro. You heard? That's bigger than me. That's somebody, that's something the higher power speaking through me. Because I don't know where it come from now at this point. Like I said, I don't got the notes no more and all that shit. That shit's gone. Mm. Mm. So what's your process? You just, you say you just go in there? I you go just... in there, I get high, I, I walk in circles, I nod my <laughs> head, and then I go in the booth. Mm. 
That's how that shit works nowadays. I feel like some people should be writing. I some feel people. like some people should stop. <laughs> <laughs> like quit, nigga. Yeah, com- quit completely. Shit sounds bad. Mm. Some people have potential, but you could just see like they need a little bit more sharpening. It's like if you if you if you over twenty five, potential shouldn't be associated with you no more. Mm. When it comes to music, like if you're over like twenty five year old, if you ain't coming to a pocket to where like you're good, or like somebody says like if you're not good uh, at that point, you're not gonna be good. You feel what I'm saying? But the special thing of it is here, like I'm here to enlighten you niggas. So I'm telling you shit that you could do besides being in my way. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga. You can go and get a trade, man. They got trades. Marcus Garvey told you niggas to get a trade long, long time ago, man. <laughs> well, yeah, that nigga was out here. <laughs> Somebody Google that shit. Yeah. That nigga got pamphlets, all that shit. Yeah. He told you niggas to get a trade way back then. You niggas ain't learn how to do electricity or start plumbing and shit yet, man. That's still in my way. HVAC. HVAC, all that <laughs> shit, the roofing, you can do all that shit, I'm 300, and I got bad legs, I'm not climbing no ladders and shit, you feel me, y'all don't want me up there on the ladder or on the roof with y'all, y'all gonna be scared, so all this fat nigga gonna carry the roof and we gonna die, right, so stop rapping, y'all don't want me on the roof, I don't want y'all rapping, yeah, makes sense if you ask me, <laughs> it, it does, it does, it does, we know this ain't for everybody, they just don't want to fucking hear it ever, ever. Don't tell niggas that until it's over. <laughs> no bullshit. No Some bullshit. Let me keep this energy. Because you got to, yo. Because it's the fucking truth. It's the truth. These niggas ain't built for this. A lot of people aren't built for it. Man, you got all type of weird shit. They ain't going to try to extort you. They going to try to blackmail you. They going to try to do all type of shit to you. Like, can you think through that? Like, are you mentally fit for that? Like. You feel what I'm saying? At that level, niggas can't see what's like right or beyond what's right in front of them, so they not looking into like the, the the different aspects of this shit. Like there's a lot that come with this shit. What y'all niggas gonna do like when it's time for y'all to go through certain places and they out there bugging? Like you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> y'all not smart enough. Y'all stupid. See y'all stupid. See y'all think I'm like y'all think I'm out here trying. I'm not trying to be tough. I'm in my hotel room. Mm. Stupid. They said bitch. They bugging in LA. I said I didn't notice. I was in my hotel room. We was out that motherfucker right. I'm not about, like I'm not trying to do too much, bro. I went to Detroit. I don't get tattoos. I went to Detroit. That shit would be scary. I start getting tattoos. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's go back to hotel. Get some tattoos. I'm not riding around this hell ho. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't stay at home for this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know nobody here. Like, certain places I know I'm locked in. I'm safe. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to explore. I want to see the neighborhood. I want to meet the people. You feel what I'm saying? Then there's other places. If you're not established there, like, or whatever, like, stay your ass in. Or you might be on TNZ or World Star Sun getting fucked over. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying about niggas not having common sense. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not that pressed to wander around the dangerous neighborhood. Like, yeah, I don't even know why people do that. You feel what I'm saying? It's like a like, badge of honor to I'm them. Straight man, I'm about to chill with them. I do a lot of shit. Like, I was in, I went old block when I was in Chicago and shit like that, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But like, I knew what I was doing. Like at that point, like you feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes if you don't know what's going on, like you, you gotta chill. Like don't even bother. Yeah, you gotta chill. Don't even bother. Get a tattoo. Sit your eyes down somewhere. There's a lot that come with this shit, man. So. Go be an island boy. Man, see, <laughs> niggas think the island boy sweet. The island boy got the cereal you, you, I was about to say, you in just, the house with them. Yeah, I, was, I was told that's that story. They been, so you they run up on shit. the island boy, the cereal shooter gonna fuck you up. And you got the same haircut as this, so you think nigga with the stupid haircut not gonna get you. Don't underestimate nobody out here. I ain't from the era of none of this shit, so all these niggas with the funny haircuts and shit scared me. I think they, I think they all got the 30, because that's all they talk about. You feel what I'm saying? They all got the 30. The nigga with the funny brushes in here, he got the 30. Watch that nigga, man. That nigga's dangerous. I don't get it. I don't get it. That nigga's dangerous, <laughs> 
But that, but that's that shit. That I feel like that's that, that's that's them falling into that shit. They don't they don't belong there. I don't believe that shit for one second. Them? Yeah. Nah, but they you don't think they need. The killer around them? <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. they did do. They, they did their do. They, they, more, <laughs> they more than damn near like anybody that. else need yeah, a killer around them. They need a killer around them. They somebody around them better make sure them niggas are eyes, bro, because they going to have some issues, man. Niggas going to get the island, boy. Mm. Everything about them says you can get them. You hear no bullshit. So it's like they going to put, like, somebody's going to fill that void, like, for them, like. Yeah, that nigga is really, really fucking hmm. shooting that motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, that nigga, right? Whoever that guy is, like, he is going to kill you over those motherfuckers. Like, that's his meal to you. You yeah. love sports? Yeah, hell yeah, I love sports. A Super Bowl Super prediction. Super Bowl. Eh, fuck the Super Bowl. <laughs> man, that shit trash, man. My Niners got wiped down, man. Yeah, I don't fuck the trade, 49ers, man. man. <laughs> he a Cowboys fan. Oh yeah, we weird. What's up? Shut up the 49ers. Like, yeah, like, I don't fuck with you niggas. I don't like Michael Irvin and them niggas. I hate them old niggas. Yeah, fuck oh, them man. niggas. Motherfucking um, I watched that game with DJ Premier though, so like that was mm. dope. Like, mm. Mm. I watched that Rams versus Niners game with Premier. That shit was that shit was dope. All these games have been crazy good though. Yeah. Yeah, this the uh, best it's been in a minute, actually. Yeah. Cause like by now I'll be bored with football and like I'm still kind of in tune with the shit. So, I can't so. believe the Bengals are more of a basketball in the fucking fan, so Super Bowl. So if I could Bowl. get basketball, it's like, I. Who's like, your team? The Magic were horrible. Oh man. Like, I'm just too like I'm not gonna trade like I like this Shaq guy. Is it says Penny? I like this Shaq and Penny. Is that says Penny? I've been, oh, so been riding that. I don't switch my shit. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like. I've been the Niners fan my whole yeah, life, but yeah. like, I only like the 49ers. I only like Steve the Magic. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is. Like, Steve Young and them niggas, like, that's what I came yeah. up with. Like, Shaq and Penny was my shit. Like, I, I like Penny don't Bulls. get talked about enough. I liked the Bulls before them, but that wasn't my opinion. That was just being on Mike. Like, yeah. it's Mike, Mike, Mike. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, when I grew some nuts, it's like, I like, all right, I like those. I'm going to rock with that. <laughs> and I'm stuck with that. Cause we suck. <laughs> yeah, we suck. Yeah, I had for a little bit, quick second, a little that hope, a little real. little I was hope. In, I, was, I know that shit. He was in and out of there. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wasn't really the one. He yeah. was Shaq. Nah, yeah, not even not at all. Second city years. Right? Huh? They had T Mac for two second city. That was years, nice right? watching him gun and shit, but it wasn't like nothing real was happening. <laughs> I'm glad you realistic. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't about to do that, man. I don't got time for that shit. <laughs> nah, yeah, we stay, we sucky. You seen fucking Celtics did to Brooklyn? Yeah, but nobody was playing. I know, it, but it's, it's, it's score is still should. ridiculous. As we should. The score is ridiculous. I never seen that shit ever. What was, what was the it score? Like? It was like 28-2 in the first or some oh, shit yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 28-2, yeah, yeah. To start the game off. But they was playing. Weird. They was playing two K mode. They was playing weird for two. They was playing the high school. It was, ter- it was terrible. <laughs> Celtics pissed me off though. Them niggas just stay like mediocre. Six, niggas niggas from, fucking from, from the neighborhood. Like anybody talking. Okay. Hey, you want to want to come on tonight? You just want to be okay. Contracts fresh out the grocery store. <laughs> A conversation yeah, we was having earlier, Kay's about to fucking pass the fuck out. It's a conversation. It's about a conversation we were talking about uh, about um, projects being too long. You got sixteen tracks on on say that, but th- I feel like Yo, I was, you know what's so crazy? I was, it's short as hell though. It's short because it's like I don't like that shit. Like neither, and I say that like nobody want to listen to that shit for two hours and shit like that. It's like the Titanic. Like you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna start snoring and shit. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I want it. I want it short and, and steady to where it's like boom. Like all right, that was just enough. The way you might want some more. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like it's 16 joints, but it's there's a, a verses lot on of there. like verses like from features or like freestyles in there. You feel me? So where they're Skits. really like under two minutes. You feel what I'm saying? So. Yeah, that's what, that was my first thought process. I was like, damn, 16. I was like, all right, man, let's start this. Let's like, start this. It's hour. like boom, and I was like. Hold up. Right, hold up. You know it, that skit coming back in the beginning. You That's dope. I mean? Yeah, I don't like that long guy shit, man. That shit, like, I don't know. It don't make sense, I don't think. Especially, like, right now, you got to put out projects so often just to, like, compete because it's oversaturated. Mm-hmm. You might want to save one of that. 
Yeah. If you got 16 songs, I could be damn near two copies. That's the wave. We were talking about that earlier, too. That's definitely the wave. And I feel like it's best because nobody, I don't think anybody wants to sit down and listen to that in, in one setting. Well, how I like some of the music, I always like listening to front to back, like no skips, like through That's and through. That's what I'm saying. If you, if you, if you, if you trying to accomplish that, it make better sense to slim it down. You got a better shot of, of acing that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not having nobody skipping your shit or whatever. Y'all going to a T.I. comedy show? T.I. Funny as a motherfucker, man. That's a comedian? What? I just seen him doing some shit. That shit had me laughing. That nigga's funny as hell, man. Just a nigga that's country, but you... Yeah, bring the mic a little closer. Bring the mic a little closer. Just a nigga that's country as hell, like, and use big, huge words is hilarious. I gotta, I gotta see. Nah, I've seen a couple of clips too. They were funny, but I just, I just, mm-mm. I still can't see him as a comedian. That nigga tip Yo, is tip. Most tipped. rappers are comedians. I know, but it's hard to yeah. it's stand. Stand up Yo, is a whole different most, game. Stand up is hard really as fuck. It's stand up is hard. Stand up is stand up is hard. I think I could do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're fucking. I mean, you got jokes. You got jokes. Yeah, like, jokes. I really think I could do that shit. And I think I know like a couple. Other Ain't stories that too. That, that, shit, that shit. That shit. That shit. Like rapping is like storytelling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And a lot of that shit is like without like. It might be five stories you could tell out of one song if you get a chance just to just talk about that shit. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's mm-hmm. like you get 16 bars. Nah, you can't cover everything. There's a lot of little intricacies and funny shit that you could bring up if you just got a chance to talk about that shit. You feel what I'm saying? No ball. No ball. I think hip hop and, and comedy definitely one and the same. But yeah, all that shit got something to do with it. Hip hop, comedy, drugs, sex, <laughs> guns, <laughs> violence, <laughs> sports. Niggers. <laughs> Niggers. 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 The ER. Niggers. Hard. Niggers. Hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that shit got sent to do. They don't want to hear it, but all that shit got a lot to do with each other, man. Get her. That shit is crazy. Because, you know, that's what they call us. Like, niggas are like, they don't want to fuck you. That's what they call you, bro. Joe Rogan does. You heard? I got this shit highlighted. Hey. Somebody, man. And it's crazy because... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I haven't heard none of it. I don't know, like, what context he was using it in. Or, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, shit like that don't bother me. Like, if you not being malicious. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I got white friends. I might call that motherfucker straight up cracker. Fuck you, cracker. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, and then it's like, we got this thing of not expecting that shit back. You feel what I'm saying? Like, is he wrong if he just said, fuck you too, the nigga? Is he? Is he? No. Yeah. 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 That's not how. That's not how he used it. That's not how he used it. That's not how he used it. We put the emphasis on that ER, right? But that's how we talk. Those people don't talk like that. They use the ER. That's where ER come from. I might say nigga is there no difference. It's the same word. You feel what I'm saying? The motherfucker might not mean no harm by it like that. Like you feel what I'm saying? Just like if you playing with somebody. It's all about, like, I feel like how it's used, you feel what I'm saying? Like, if he's intending to hurt black people, then fuck Joe Rogan. Nah, that's not what he was doing. Yeah, that's not what he was doing. And if that's not what he was doing, then leave Joe Rogan the fuck alone, man. They've been trying to get this nigga to fuck with Joe Rogan? You're always looking for somebody to fuck with. What y'all gonna do when they fuck with y'all? Don't jump out the window. (laughs) Don't put the gun in your mouth. (laughs) Stop being so fast. We so fast now they to jump down on people, bro, and try to kick them when they down and shit. And it's always usually a bunch of people that couldn't take it if they was going through that shit. That obviously, does, you don't give a fuck about that because of the shit that you be saying. <laughs> like, you know saying? the shit that you be saying, especially these times. Y'all. I was listening to this shit. All three, I listened to three projects back to back to back. And I was like, yo, goddamn, like, this nigga don't give a fuck. Like, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, why not? Like, this TP, we too <laughs> sensitive, bro. Like, it's not that real, like... Life, like, there's so much shit actually going on, bro. And, like, it's so much fucked up shit out here, man. Let's not take all this stupid shit seriously. Like, who really gives a fuck what I'm saying? Like, if you're really that deep into what I'm saying and it bothers you that much, you an asshole. You stupid. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I enjoyed it. Device, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. How y'all feel about Snoop owning Death Row? That's dope. That's like some full circle shit. 
You feel what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You bought, you bought, like, you bought, like, they put you on. And then it's like, it, it showed, like, his staying power, like, his longevity. Like, you went through all that shit. That nigga done beat the murder. Like, he done went through all type of beefs, different labels, ups, downs. You feel me? And he's still around now to buy that shit. And nigga shook somewhere, like, fucked up in the game. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, a lot of them other niggas that nigga's dead. Still in, that nigga's still in jail, right? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, so, right? he's in jail. Shit like that. They say, like, Ray J's his manager or some shit. Like, what? Yeah, he's doing horrible. Like, Ray J manager shit. Like, <laughs> he's doing bad out there. So, for Snoop to have that longevity and have the money to pull it off and all of that, like, that's, that's like, one of the illest power moves I've seen so far. No bullshit. That's like Mike coming back and buying the Bulls or some shit like that. Nah. He want the Wizards. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even... Mm. That's what I'm saying. Because it's like you say Mike bought the Wizards. Snoop could have bought like Slip and Slide or some shit. Like <laughs> slip like and slip Slide? And slide records or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit though, essentially, Yo. the same shit because Death Row ain't really That's what like, I'm saying. No problem, but it's like, right now, it's the like fact that though, like, is that's his shit. Yeah, like, no like, bullshit. Mike bought the Bulls and whether they was relevant or not at that time, it's still like... What the fuck was that? That's like buying back the block. <laughs> that shit sounded crazy. <laughs> that shit sounded crazy. Just making sure the slime don't fall down. I'm like, nigga, like the fuck was that? Oh, oh, all right. It's one of them screws. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna well rip that shit off. And be like that. God damn. You got any performances coming up anywhere out here? Um, I can't spoil you with certain shit, but um, y'all might see me some couple places with Conway real soon. Mm. Y'all might see me a couple places with Benny real soon. Y'all might see me a couple places by myself real soon. And where we gonna see all that? <laughs> where do y'all be? <laughs> I don't see niggas like nobody comes to see me. Why? Stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. You heard? I got that Friday. Shit. What's that shit? March 26. I don't even want to get lit. I'm not much of a drinker. I'm going to have some drinks that night. So come out and party with me. 27? 27. All right. One of them shit. <laughs> I actually know the real one before then. But 27. And yeah, I'm going to have some drinks. And I'm going to have fun that night. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. I'm celebrating everything. Celebrating just being here, like being in the spot, I mean, it's, it's a blessing, bro. And I'm having fun, man. I talk a lot of shit and all that shit. I do because I can. First, like, I believe that niggas ain't gonna do shit. But I'm having fun, though, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm enjoying myself. Or, I was just about to ask this question before you said that. I was gonna ask you if this was as far as you've ever gone, would you be content with? All the work that you've done, or are you just so hungry you'd want so much more right now? I wouldn't be content with this shit. Like, if it had to end tonight for, like, a real reason, then it'd be cool. You feel what I'm saying? I did more than this shit already than a nigga like me, the average nigga like me gonna do. But like, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting over. Like, like as I get bigger, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm pulling the fast one, bro. Like, I ain't supposed to be here. So, like, that's what, hum that's what really makes me humble. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's the suckers that's not humble because they don't know nothing. They don't know no better. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this shit can no get experience. swept from under your feet. Like, like I said, I have been to jail twice since I had this situation. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, like, that shit definitely humbles you. Like, Word. Motherfuckers need to get out of there. Do some shit. Learn some shit. Go meet some people. Go talk to fucking somebody. Get out of here. Go I'm do gonna some tell, shit. I'm going to tell you niggas what to do. <laughs> <laughs> the trade. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know it's so much shit you can be in life, man. Yo, they fuck us up, bro. They fuck us up. They fuck us up. Cause like we all got strengths, we all got weaknesses. You feel what I'm saying? And as a people, we gotta start playing to our strengths. Like I said, I joke a lot, but it be messages in my jokes. Yeah, like we gotta start playing to our strengths, man. Like everybody's not a rapper. Like nigga, you sound horrible. But you might be a great, like, 
cheerleading coach. <laughs> <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Think Yo. about it though. No. Like the world needs cheerleading <laughs> coaches. The world needs niggas that make pizzas. You feel what I'm saying? We need niggas Little that clean Caesar's toilets always very well. Like it's all type of shit you can do. We need niggas that make airplanes. You feel what I'm saying? It's bullshit I'm saying. Then it's other real shit you can do. You could be an engineer. You feel what I'm saying? Like you could be a porno star. You could be a fucking mailman. You don't have to be a rapper or a basketball player, bro. That's what everybody think though. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's why I tell you it's bigger than me. Cause I'm gonna tell you niggas what it is. <laughs> that shit pissed me off. You feel what I'm saying? Like, 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 like everybody has a talent, nigga. Like you might make good barbecue sauce. Figure out what your talent is. Uh, for it, real. If everybody tell you barbecue sauce. Cause say a barbecue sauce. Don't be in my way. I don't want to make barbecue sauce. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Like, how would you feel if your barbecue sauce good? My shit trash. And then I'm at every barbecue sauce event holding up my trash. Trying to sell it and shit. You feel what I'm saying? The niggas at the barbecue sauce convention, like, man, get them the fuck out of here. That's how we feel about you niggas, man. It's That's- like that, though. It really is, though. These motherfuckers don't understand it. Oh, yeah, man. Because they got right. yes men around them. And they got cheerleaders around them and people yeah, telling them to the go ahead. Yeah, I'm the barbecue sauce convention, bro. So it's like, man, stay the fuck out this rap shit for me, please. I would appreciate it, man. Some of you <laughs> niggas are horrible and you're disgusting. <laughs> and we don't like you. That's what they want to do. They just want to be a part of yeah. any type of wave. Yeah, man. I can't. I can't. So, niggas gonna keep saying this shit over and over again. No, I mean, I'm, 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 <laughs> no like, bullshit. I'm here, like, to, 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 to spread the truth, man. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, some of you niggas, man, there's more shit that y'all could do, man. It's not doing them, it's not doing shoes. anybody no good by letting <laughs> them just fucking continue this bullshit. You could, you could make belts. <laughs> some people design belts, right? You could design belts. You can do mad shit. I'm just coming up with shit off the top of my head. Like, I got to do it for you, nigga. You can lounge. You can mow lawns. You can rake. You can pump gas. Like, it's mad shit you can do out here, man. Don't limit yourself to just being a horrible-ass rapper with bad Everything. Raps. Everything. Niggas are halfway committed. You can't even be halfway committed. Nah, you can't be halfway committed. I, I, my last 24 hours, I done did more for my career than you niggas have done in the last month. And that, it should, it's like that. I can't say when I'm motherfucker. coming to right here from a podcast. Word, that's dope. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I was, had a management me in, in the VIP of a strip club last night. Because that's what I had to do. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't in there throwing my money and shit like that, man. I was in there doing business. Hell yeah. Motherfuckers ain't about it. They don't even got, they don't, they think they don't have the time to do anything. I mean, I don't know what they thinking, bro. I think they own, I'm trying to tell you what they own, man. I'm saying, you got mad time. I I don't, though. I'm talking about the people that be talking the most shit. You can see it. I don't, like, I don't be, man, like, I don't, I got a lot going on, bro. I'm just now, Getting comfortable in that chair, you feel what I'm saying? And a big part of that shit is balance. So, and like I'm learning that as well. You feel me? I can get caught up in this shit and just keep flying. Like, that ain't good neither, you feel what I'm saying? I gotta make sure, like, I'm checking on my family and shit like that. And keeping good ties with them and shit like that mm-hmm. as well. So, like, I'm learning, bro. But, like, I'm. And bread, like, I'm alright with this shit. Like, I'm for this shit. This shit's for me for some reason. So no I don't worry about it, bro. I just show up when the shit. results happen. Damn. Yeah, all, <laughs> I, all, I, all I gotta do is show up, bro. Mm-hmm. And it works. Mm-hmm. Shit, everything I heard has been great. Wait till you hear the new shit, man. The mm-hmm. new shit is better than that shit, man. Mm-hmm. I don't wanna even hear that shit no more, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, listen, I'm the biggest since can be. Let's sing it. And I'm telling you, man. And, and I got a new, I got a new, 
saying too, and that's man, if you don't like it, find what you like. If you don't like my shit, go find what you like. All right. That's not even that's anything. And and, 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 I, and I and I and I wanna also make sure that you niggas know that they get trades, they got the programs and shit like that for almost that financial aid. <laughs> you feel me? And they get that shit to felons. Niggas think you can't get it when you're a felon and all that shit. That's a lie. You can get financial aid. You go to Manchester Community College. You feel what I'm saying? You can do that shit. You could go to Dairy Queen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just options. It's shit you can do right here, though, bro. Everybody want to rap. I'm not. Uh, it is. It is what it is. Give me social media one time before we get out of here. K's about to die. My social media is Fuego based. All my shit is Fuego based. I don't want to confuse none of you stupid motherfuckers. So everything is Fuego based. If you're looking for me, just look for Fuego based. You want to go to Instagram, Fuego Base. Twitter, Fuego Base. Facebook, Twitter, Fuego Base. Some of these stupid motherfuckers are confused once again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga yeah, I never comedian, understood why yo. niggas do that. Nigga got a different name on everything and shit like that. You confusing the people. How many niggas are you supposed to be, man? I'm one person. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other shit, too. Many motherfuckers try to put on too many hats. They can't wear them all. I'm one place. I'm chilling. I'm all that. Word. All right, y'all. Until next time. We out this hoe.